What's up guys, Timmy here, and today I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time for the Smite community, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's a little bit of a tutorial on how to use the UDK program to view the mesh models in the Smite game, um, how to make the animations work with the mesh models, and to make sure the textures, textures and the materials are applied properly so that it looks alright. And so that I'm, in my hopes, I'm hoping that I can put this out here, and people are going to learn how to do it and make some really cool videos for the community. Um, so, yeah, guys. So first thing we're going to do, uh, you're going to have the con when you open up your UDK. Hopefully, you'll see your content browser here. Um, if you don't have your content browser open, the way to do it is uh, go to View, go to Browser Windows, and go to Content Browser. Um, this is the latest version of UDK. By the, by the way, you can go straight to the UDK website and download it for free. Um, just get the latest version. And what you want to do is go down here and find this folder. Uh, it's for opening external external packages. So click on the folder and it'll bring up your little browser window here. Window here. Uh, you want to find your game directory. Most people should probably in your program files. Uh, mine's in a different disk, so I'm going to find it. Uh, then you're going to find the High Res Studios folder. High Res Games, Smite, Battle Game, Cooked PC, and for this video we're going to do characters that we can play. Uh, so we're going to go to the gods, but there are lots of different UD UPKs in this folder uh, that you can mess around with so I'll make more tutorials later on how to do everything else and how to do a lot more complicated things but for now I just wanted to get this out here for you guys so we're going to go to characters then we're going to God, go to gods so here you'll see a bunch of different um, UPKs a lot of them have uh, similar names except for the last word that's because a lot of them are for one god uh, that they just work together to make the model and animation and uh, material and all that so for this purpose, I think we're going to use, um, let's see, uh, we, let's use, let's use Gab. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the basic, basic things. So we're just going to do the textures, materials, animations, and skeletal mesh in this video. So what we want to do first is um, open the textures file. You want to open the textures file for any god that you want to view first because most of the materials and other things will require the texture file first so that they can make everything look like uh, look right so they can have the right image files placed where they need to be and all that <clears throat> now when you open up your UPK you're going to notice that you have load errors that's because these UPKs rely on other UPKs that are within the game folders to make them look properly that's the reason they look a little bit different in the game uh, versus is what they look like in here unless um, when you open a UPK for instance, when I sh uh, here, I'll, I'll open the main UPK for you right quick so you can see an example of what I'm about to say. Um, we'll go back down and find Geb. So the main UPK for any uh, god that you want to look is basically just god underscore and then the name of whatever god it is. So this is basically the main one. We'll have the skeletal mesh and the animations and all that. So we're going to and, uh, go ahead and open it up. So you'll notice over here that it's missing files. That means it needs these files to, to work properly. It's dependent on these files to make everything look as it was intended to work. So as you notice, it says it's, uh, that it failed to find the package TG game. That's, uh, that's fine. Most of the main UPK, UPK packages does require the TG game, but it doesn't affect it if you don't have it in UDK for some reason. The other file that it's missing is fxgeb. That's probably just some kind of particles or something that will go along with the animations to look them to make them look proper in the game. So, like I said, if you wanted these um, UPKs to look proper, when you open them, just write down, take note of all the other packages that it's missing, and then close the program down, open it back up, and load all those files first, and then open the UPK, and it should fix most of the errors that you're seeing. So we're gonna click OK. And we'll go down to the texture file, the one that we opened first. Now, if you scroll down here, you see some pictures. You see that, um, you know, this is what Gab is supposed to look like. This is basically the diffuse layer and the specular layer and stuff. Basically, all these textures come together to, to form what's called a material that is what actually goes around the skeletal mesh. So, basically, this is these, all these pictures come together to make what we see in the game basically makes the skin of the skeleton kind of so you want to make sure that you find the material it, uh, most of the time it'll be matte underscore than the name of the god 
so you want to make sure you can find it and then you want to go back to the main UPK of the god now you'll notice that there's anime sets and anime trees don't worry about that right now we're going to go down and make sure that we can find the skeletal mesh so here you'll notice that there's three skeletal mesh files um, the first is skeletal geb shockwave this is a mesh that's used for his shockwave ability uh, the next is uh, Skeletal Gob, God Geb. This is the main Skeletal Mesh and the one that we need the most. Um, this is basically the character. And then Skeletal God Rollout is the mesh for the rollout animation. So basically we're going to open it up here. And you'll notice that since we opened up the texture UPK first, um, that it is automatically applied to our Skeletal Mesh. So he already looks the way he is supposed to look. Except for this top piece here so if you remember before uh, I was telling you that if it's missing a UPK file that's just because it depends on it well this particular texture was missing a that part of the texture file and that's the reason it's showing up as non textured so uh, if we had opened the other UPK prior to loading the texture UPK it would have looked the way it was supposed to look so anyways you notice the material is applied and everything looks great next thing we want to do is make it move with the animations that's in the game so uh, the old way that it used to work is you just go to the anim, anim tab here click on the drop down menu and you select the anim set for whatever god you want in this case it's as god geb so you can see as soon as I apply the anime set it completely deforms the model he doesn't look right at all if I try to play the anim, animations it doesn't do anything at all uh, and I'm not sure if that's something that happened with Smite recently or if it's just the update, updated version of UDK. But the way to fix this is to find the anime set that the animation set that you wanted to to work with. Right click it in the content browser, go to properties, and uncheck anim rotation only. Uh, then you just exit the window out that basically applies the setting. You can go back to the skeletal mesh, um, go back to the animation. Now go to the animation set that you wanted to see before, and now you notice that he's not deformed at all. Um, he's actually posed the way that he's supposed to be posed for the animation. Uh, this will be his death animation, so we'll go ahead and play it. And you'll notice that it plays exactly the way it's supposed to play. We'll go here and look at some of the fire animations, some of the idle animations. So yeah, so that's basically it. Um, that's how you make sure that the textures and the models, the skeletal mesh and the animations all work together. Um, when you have this working together, you should be able to just uh, uh, drag the skeletal mesh out into your scene. It will be textured for you already, and then you can work with the animations and stuff as well because it will be bound correctly because you've uh, set the properties there. All right, guys, um, keep an eye out for some more uh, advancement uh, tutorials in the future. I think if people are uh, going to enjoy this one and they have more questions, I'm going to put a lot more out there because I think there's a lot of really cool stuff that can be done with this game because it's amazing. And uh, I'm interested to be part of the community, and I'm interested to learn more about this game and about using UDK to make some really cool community content. So uh, thanks for watching again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smack that like button for me, guys, and uh, have a great day. Peace.